everyone, welcome to NIIT. Imagine this, you wake up one morning, scroll through your phone and there it is, a video of you. Your face, your voice and your every gesture. But you didn't film it. You didn't say those things. You didn't remember being there. It's everywhere. Social media, news sites, people are sharing it like wildfire. And no one questions it well because it looks real. But you didn't do it. You didn't make that video and yet it's your face in the center of a viral storm. The worst part? Everyone believes it's you. Welcome to the world of deep fakes. You might think it's a science fiction or maybe just a creepy trend on the internet. But deep fake technology is here and it's already making waves in ways we didn't imagine. What was once a tool for special effects or tech enthusiasts has now become a weapon of manipulation, deception and destruction. You might be wondering, could this really happen? Well, the truth is, it already has and it's only getting worse. So let's break it down. A deepfake is a piece of media, usually a video or audio, that's been altered or entirely created by artificial intelligence to make it look like someone is saying or doing something that they never did. It's the perfect illusion, convincing, scary and sometimes nearly impossible to detect. The technology behind it? Artificial intelligence, especially something called GANs, Generative Adversarial Networks. These are two AI systems that battle it out to create hyper-realistic images, videos and audio. One creates and the other tries to detect if it's fake. But the catch is, the creator gets better over time and the results? Flawless. Almost too flawless. Let's face it, deep fakes are the ultimate weapon in the digital age. They can be used to ruin lives, damage reputations or manipulate entire political systems. One of the most disturbing uses of deep fakes is in misinformation. Imagine watching a video of your favorite political leader declaring war or worse, calling for violence against a specific group. The thing is, they never said it, but it does not matter because millions of people will see that video and most of them won't question its authenticity. The damage is done. This isn't some far off future, it's already happening. Just a few years ago, there was a deep fake of a politician making offensive comments a scandalous video of a famous celeb and countless fake videos used to spread fake news, all convincing enough to make people believe what they saw. What happens when the truth is no longer enough to be trusted? Then there's the issue of personal safety. Imagine a deepfake using your face to create explicit content or making it seem like you're involved in a crime you didn't commit. What happens when your face becomes the perfect mask for someone else's sinister intentions? Your entire identity hijacked. That's not science fiction, it's a terrifying reality today. And let's talk about the psychological toll of all this. The emotional and mental impact of being the victim of a deepfake can be devastating. When your image is used without your consent, whether for a joke, manipulation or harm, it strips you of your autonomy. This technology doesn't just affect public figures. Anyone can be targeted. And when your reputation can be shattered with a few clicks, where does that leave you? In a world where everyone can be faked, who can we trust anymore? Deepfakes cause a loss of trust in the media, in public figures and in each other. If a video can be faked, what's stopping anyone from creating an entirely false narrative about you or your loved ones? It's easy to imagine how this could spiral into a society where no one knows who to believe. The real fear? If we can't tell what's fake and what's real, we'll risk losing our sense of reality itself. How do we make decisions, vote or even trust a simple conversation when everything can be manipulated at the click of a button? But here's the hardest part of all. How do we fight back against this technology? Right now, there are some tools being developed to detect deepfakes, but the technology is still playing catch up. As deepfakes get more sophisticated, detection tools struggle to keep pace. There are efforts being made. Researchers, lawmakers and tech companies are scrambling to build safeguards against deepfakes. Some social media platforms are taking down videos they suspect are manipulated, but the sheer volume of content makes it almost impossible to catch everything. It's a race against time and right now the fakes are winning. And then there's the ethical question. Who is responsible when deepfake is used maliciously? Is it the creator, the platform, the AI developers? Or is it simply a consequence of technological advancement we can't just undo? The reality is, there's no clear answer. Deepfakes are no longer a fringe technology. They're a digital weapon that can be used to manipulate, deceive and destroy. 
We've entered an age where seeing isn't believing anymore. And while technology like this is fascinating on some level, it's also one of the most dangerous byproducts of AI. The ability to manipulate reality itself means that we have to rethink everything we know about truth. So next time you watch a video or see an image online, ask yourself, is this real or is this a carefully crafted illusion designed to deceive? In this new world of deepfakes, we all need to be a little more skeptical because trust is the first causality in the war for perception of reality. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe and ring the bell for more deep dives into the digital world. Want to build a future-proof career in cybersecurity? Check out NIIT Cybersecurity with Gen AI Advanced PGP program and get industry ready with cutting-edge skills that top employers are looking for. Start your journey today. Link in the description.